Using a pen with stencils? Really? Hello everyone, my name is Brennan and welcome back to my channel. This is another video for A Colorful Life Designs, my guest design that I'm doing this month, and I am so excited to share this technique that I tried and it came out pretty cool and I really like the results, so let's get into the video. Okay, so here's my card front and today I am going to be using the Mermaid Scale Stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. Remember, if you use code BRENNAN10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. Unless it's like one of the really cool bundles or something that's on sale. So what I'm going to do is take this and flip it just to tape it on. You could use, totally use something like a ticket stamp mat or one of those like gel plate thingy-majig- not gel plate. You guys know what I'm talking about where it's like a stamp, basically. Hold this in place, but I just use pixie tape most of the time. So now we're going to flip it over, and you're just going to take a pen. And with this pen, you're going to outline the stenciled images. And this is going to create, essentially, a stamp. Now just continue to outline those scales, or whatever background you're using, until it's done. I'm going to save you the trouble, and I'm just going to cut ahead, because you don't want to watch me outline all of these. That would not be fun. So I finished doing this. Quick FYI, I did have to start over because I messed up really badly on one. <laughs> of course I did. So there might be a mistake like there, but I don't care that much. It was just like really bad mess up. So now I'm going to take some guppy dye ink from Simon Hurley and blend that in. Essentially, what I'm going to do here is do the entire panel in Guppy first and get the ink everywhere, fill in all of those little scales, and then once all of it has color, what I'm going to do is go back over it around the edges, and this is going to create a highlight area in the center that will almost create the grounding for the image I'm going to use on the um, card front. This is just a fun way to make that image slightly pop more because there's a slight variation in color. The center will be lighter, and it's just going to look really good. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to do it. I actually saw Simon do it for his new product release, one of the um, samples, and it looked really cool. So this is where I got that idea from. With the background being done, I'm going to take the Two Bloom Wildflower stencil. As you can see, I've been testing with this one a lot. So it is stained, but that just means it's well loved. So I'm going to place that down and put some pixie tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend black ink, Distress Ink Black Soot, through it to get an all black look. And then I'll cut it out on my brother's scanning cut. So it's gonna look like a silhouette stamp almost. Since this stamp is, this not stamp, <laughs> stencil is very delicate, I'm going to be pouncing in some areas instead of blending, if that makes sense. So here, I'll demonstrate. So right here, I'm gonna pounce instead of blend. And you'll still get a dark look. You might just need to use a little more ink, but up here I can do blending just because it won't really move. And if you get a little outside, it's fine because you're gonna cut this out. Now I'm just gonna continue that pouncing and blending. This, I really wish I had pixie spray at the moment, but you can always work with the materials you have. I'm using a pen in this card. It just shows you how easy card making can be. So easy that you can use a pen. But I'm just gonna continue pouncing and do a little blending towards the bottom, I believe. Yep, and th then I will have the finished um, bloom. And I really like how this came out. So here is the finished bloom all cut out. I think it came out really cool and I almost, it really looks like a silhouette stamp. So now I'm going to take this stamp. It says, I believe, sending love from afar. I believe. I didn't look at it when I popped on screen. But I'm going to take my Misty and stamp this in Versa Fine Claire Ink and Nocturne. Nocturne. I still don't know how to pronounce it. And stamp that onto the background. I'm just going to do another stamp just to make sure it's perfect. I think it was perfect, but I'm going to make it even more perfect. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is just simply glue that bloom onto the card front. I'm going to say this, I think, in my outro, but I really think that background has a pop art look. I don't know why, but it's just giving me that vibe. I think it looks different and really cool, just to be honest. Give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> but I'm just simply going to glue the bloom down, and then I'm going to take some glue and put it onto the back of the card front, because, you know, you need glue to hold it down to the card mat, which, of course, I'm going to use. It's like, when do I not use a card mat? Let's be honest, people. Let's be honest with ourselves. 
Bam, there's the black card mat. Shocking, devastate, not devastating. <laughs> That's a TikTok trend if you, it, it, ignore me. So now I'm gonna add glue to the back of the mat, which is technically the card right now because it's one piece, but you know, oh well. We're gonna glue that all to the card base. And there we have our finished card. Thank you so much for watching. I'm kind of shocked that I did a flower all black, but hey, I like how it came out. And I think the card just has a really cool, almost like pop art feel, kind of. Not really, but I like, I think that's what the background kind of gives, at least for me. Thank you once again for watching and make sure to use code BRENNAN10 at checkout at A Color for Life Designs for 10% off your order. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and bye everyone. Happy crafting.